Bundy's Garage Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a four-speed Honda transmission. We're going to be changing out the linear solenoid to see if it'll fix a P0740 code. This code is very, very annoying. Honda recommends replacing the linear solenoid, which I'm, which I'm about to show you, or the AB solenoid, which is right next to it. I could have them backwards, but all the guys I ever talked to refer to the linear solenoid as the one I'm about to show you, and the AB solenoid is the one that looks like, uh, if you're old enough, you remember the old uh, film canisters that 35 millimeter film used to go into. So I'll show you both of those right now if I can. But uh, right here, that where the laser is, this is the linear solenoid. There's five, one, two, three, four, five 10 millimeter bolts that hold this thing on. And it looks like this right here. Okay. Has three O rings that you need to make sure that they're on there. And then also there's three um, little pipes that go into these where these O rings sit. So you need to, when you place it down, you basically, you can't slide this in. You have to place it down onto uh, the three. Um, metal stems. You'll see when you get it off. Uh, and at the end of those stems is a tiny little filter, so you have to make sure those filters are clean as well. If you get this code, the P0740 code, uh, Honda recommends replacing this solenoid, and there's one right over here. And I'm trying to see if I can get a good picture of it. Right there. It sits right below the uh, the thermostat. It's right there, but it looks like it has two little. Uh, like if you remember, if, like I said earlier, if you remember what 35 millimeter film used to be stored into, two little black uh, film canisters. I call that one the AB solenoid, and this one I call the linear solenoid. If you want to see where this is sitting at, it's right below the battery. I actually removed the battery so I could get a better shot of this for you guys. These are 10 millimeter. There's one here, there's one here, there's one in the middle, and there's one on the two corners as well. I'm going to actually loosen up this bolt right here, which covers this line. I don't know if this is the return or supply line for the transmission cooler. I'm actually just going to remove this and kind of push it out of the way so I get more clearance to be able to get the linear solenoid out of the way. Uh, your connectors are right here. Those are easy enough to get off. Just squeeze the tabs on top pull out. There's one. And there's two. Another issue that could come up, um, I've seen it where a, your uh, D4 is blinking and that that I've solved that problem with a with a uh, additional ground strap wire. So right here you can see there's a ground strap wire and it actually goes right there. So I just added an additional ground wire because Hondas and Acuras are known for having bad grounds. So these are all 10 millimeter. On the side here. 10 millimeter there. The five bolts inside the linear solenoid is, are exactly the same. So don't worry about screwing them up. Okay, got that out of the way. It is very rigid, so I'm just giving a little bit of of TLC when I pull it up. I'm not bending it, I'm just moving it. You don't want to bend this line too much because it will break if you... Bring out the transmission dipstick. Give me some more room that way. Now it's just a matter of going around and getting all these 10 millimeters loose. The only one that seems to be the hardest are these two back here. And you're going to find this linear solenoid on all V6 models that have the J-Series engine. Be that your Ridgelines, your Pilots, your Odysseys, your TLs, your CLs, your Honda Accords that have the V6. And then this one in the far corner is always a bear because you have a huge uh, wiring harness right in its way, which is right here. Maybe a 10 millimeter wrench would do the trick. Come on the side. Now just know that on all these vehicles, the ones I was talking about, your Ridge Lines, your Pilots, your Odysseys, 
they have this they have this transmission their setup is always just a little bit different some some minor differences so even though we're working on a cord this is very similar the parts the same but uh as far as getting out like uh, this solenoid is a little bit harder to get out on odyssey than it is in the cord so just keep that in mind just depending on what you're working with and if you have a d5 that's flashing d4 d5 you can always try uh you can always try uh adding an additional ground wire all the 10 millimeter bolts are loose except for this one right back there I have the laser on it right now the wrench didn't cut it it was just slipping off so i didn't want to strip it out so i just got to a quarter inch 10 millimeter with a uh, universal joint gonna go down there and see if i can get this from this angle or this angle and it's just in an awkward position doesn't want to sit flat onto the head of the bolt. That's his line. <laughs> I'm just pushing the line back a little bit, see if I can get some clearance that way. I don't want to strip this out. Come on, baby. Work with me. Right. Seeing if I can slide a quarter inch ratchet in there which I seems like I can oh yes so quarter inch ratchet with a short 10 millimeter socket but one thing to note the p0740 code even though you might replace both these solenoids it might not go away it could be internal as well sometimes the transmission just needs to be rebuilt or replaced I know it's a pain and sometimes that's the only way you can get rid of the P0740 code. I actually put a link in the description to below to an article I found that talks about this specific problem. They're talking about comebacks for shop owners that rebuild transmissions. And the vehicle comes back again with the P0740 code. Uh, they talk about adding a external cooler. They talk about drilling a hole into the valve body at a specific location that helps with line pressure. And then a new spring in one of the valve in, in the valve body at this specific place so I'm crossing my fingers hoping that this solenoid replacement will clear the P0740 code but I'm not gonna hold my breath I think this transmission has seen uh, has seen better days and it's probably on its last leg now I'm not saying that the P0740 is the kiss of death because this vehicle has had that code for three years and the funny thing is that there's no drivability problems. It's not shifting hard. Gas mileage seems to be fine. Everything seems to be good. Just the stupid code keeps on popping up, which makes it very difficult to pass smog out here in California. Oh man, there's six. I'm an idiot. There's six. There's one right here where my finger is. I totally forgot. I told you guys five. I lied. There's six. The other solenoid that I refer to as a, the AB solenoid has been replaced on this. So the last, uh, last Hail Mary is to replace this linear solenoid with a known good one. Okay, so this should just pull up. And get it out of the way. Make sure all three O-rings come with it. You don't want to leave any of those behind. If you have a good clean, if you have a new gasket or access to a new gasket, go ahead and replace that. And make sure you're going to leave this one in place. So as you can see, just remember where these sit. These are the three, uh, three metal stems I was talking about. So you just grab it and pull it straight up. On the back side, you can see that it has screens in there. Sometimes those screens get clogged up with clutch material. So it's a good idea to go ahead and spray each one out with some brake clean from this way, from the top, and from the bottom, and put it back into place. They are different lengths, 
so be careful where you put them remember where you put them I should say and if it's stuck a little bit you can always get a pair of needle nose pliers that one doesn't have a screen or it just didn't come out with the thing no it does, that last one doesn't have a screen well there's actually four okay that one sits there you have this one that has a screen as well but they do look pretty clean they actually look very good so to show you that I will actually take the time and spray all those out just get a can of brake parts cleaner remember where each wind went where each when where each win where each one went <laughs> right, I'm gonna spray it off camera I don't like that camera just spring down spring from the bottom up there it is cleaned out go ahead and put it back in just repeat that step for all three of them are clean now putting the last one back into place when you put them back into place make sure that they bottom out onto the bottom there you go bring in the known good solenoid make sure all o-rings are there finesse this thing back into place I said if you have access to a new gasket, go ahead and replace the gasket. Push it down. Seems to be good. Replace all six bolts. Put your battery back in. The torque spec on these is just snug. Don't worry about torquing them down. Just snug them up. Now do it in a crisscross pattern. I'll go over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. And I'll just snug them. Kind of like a water pump. When you're installing a water pump on one of these J-Series V6s. Alright guys, I won't bore you with uh, putting this all back together. But uh, just take your time. Take your battery out. It'll make it a lot easier. And I'm hoping that it'll clear the P0740 code. If this doesn't work, then the transmission, there's something wrong with the transmission internally. If you have found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you. Oh yeah, one last thing. Connectors are hard to kind of hard to screw up. Black goes to black, brown goes to brown. I don't know if you can plug a brown one into the black one. No, it won't even work. It only goes one way. So yeah, brown to brown, black to black, and you can't screw it up. The connectors are different. <laughs>